it. The Zodiac is the right combination. What are you doing there? How did you get in? Give me those keys for God's sake. I just wanted to see the inside of that chapel. Nobody is allowed to enter it. If Madam learned you were inside, it would be my fault. Guarding this place is one of my responsibilities, and Madam is relying on me to do it. If you don't tell her, she won't ever know. Well, you're lucky. I would get in bigger trouble than you for letting you in there. Damn! How could he have found me here? I've got to get inside again, but how? It would probably be best to return at night. Do you have a moment? Hold on! Go ahead. Do you remember our talk about the tomb? Yes, I do. Did you manage to get inside? Yes and no, but I still want to examine it thoroughly. You're starting to interest me, young man. Why have you come to Wales anyway? And why are you so interested in our tomb? Unfortunately, I cannot explain the whole thing just now. I fail to see what draws you to that place so much. I have to get inside somehow, that's all. But? But Louis won't let me. Louis makes no trouble. He's just doing what he is told. If it was something else, I'd settle it for you. But the tomb is a problem. Eleanor is very respectful of her ancestors and guards the place as if it were a shrine. I can't do much about it, you see. Yes, but no one will find out. I promise. I just need the key for an hour or two. No, that's quite impossible. Eleanor takes the key from Louis in the evening and keeps it in her bedroom for the night. What do you suggest, then? Me? Well, maybe. I can't promise anything, but if you help me out, I'll make it easier for you to get inside. I'll do what is needed. So what's the plan? I'll explain everything later, but I have a couple of rules. First, you will come down here when it's dark. Second, you must not tell anyone. Why are you doing this anyway? You mean why am I helping you? I have my reasons, just like you have yours. So, how is it? I will do anything if you get me inside. All right, we have a bargain then. I'll leave you to your work then. Strange. It's made of just one piece of stone. I'll go to my room and rest a while. I've got to get into that tomb again in the evening. I waited until the last sound had quieted in the mansion, so I could be sure I could leave my room unnoticed.
This place looks entirely different at night. There's no way to see inside from here. Richard has locked himself in. Did he forget about our agreement? I need to draw his attention somehow. Silhouette of the chapel room as though it meant to warm. I'll try to hit the window. Missed. I hope they hear that inside. I'd better go to the door quickly. I've been expecting you. Follow me. So is everything clear? Yes, I believe it is. I'd better describe the whole process once more. No, that won't be necessary. I understood everything. You will have to assist me. Follow my orders exactly during the whole experiment. Agreed? Of course. Variant 2. Variant 2. Variant 7 follows. Nice and simple. So it has time to mix. I understand. Back to Variant 2. Number 3 will follow. 2 and 3 follows. Now we must wait a little. Right. This is the moment. From now on, it's going to be easy. Just keep turning it down as I told you. Yes. Easy. Easy. Keep going. Right then, we're mostly done. We just need to add the oxidant. Oxidant? What oxidant? The one you managed to break this afternoon. What luck you had catching the druggist. Well... Maybe I should tell you something. Hurry up, then. The time's almost up. The oxidant. You see, it actually isn't... No! How could this happen? I checked my calculations to the smallest detail. A mistake was inconceivable. Well, maybe... You needn't apologize. It's not your fault. I must have made a mistake with the ratio somewhere. Damn! Yes, everyone makes mistakes. Well, you have fulfilled your part of our agreement. Now it's my turn. It's right there by the door. That green flask. Lass, you promised to get me inside the tomb. I have promised to make it easier for you to get inside. 
You must realize I could not look Eleanor in the eye if she found out I had lent you the key. Sure, but what do I do with that flask? The container is of little importance. It's the content that matters. It's a strong concentrated acid that will dissolve most metals on the table of elements. That should do the trick for you. Right. We'll see how strong this acid is. Very well. The lock has fallen off. Secret passage. I can't go any further. The tomb is locked like a safe. At least I know I'm approaching my goal. I think I'll need the right key. The lock looks odd and quite complex. That symbol on the lock, though, I've seen it before. I think I'll need the, the lock looks odd. That symbol. I would like to ask you something, Richard. Oh, give me a moment. I'm listening. There is a symbol of a very unique cross-like shape in the chapel. Would you happen to know anything about it? Oh, I think I know what you mean. It's an old symbol of the nobleman of the manor. It's strange, though. I've never noticed it there myself. Eleanor has got the only remaining one in her jewelry box. I'd like to see it. Where exactly is that box? She tends to keep it nearby. It's probably somewhere in the main hall. The mansion will be closed for the night. Take my key from the table over there. Thanks. I'll leave you to your work then.
The bottom part looks exactly like the opening in the grate of the underground tomb. The fire is out. This must be Durgan's tomb. Use a stranger's head, or your own will shed. I'll try to push the lid off. This must be Durgan's tomb. Use a stranger's head, or your own will shed. There's an opening on the top. There's an opening on the top. They've all been chiseled from stone. This one has a crack on it. It looks a bit different than the other ones. It has probably cracked by itself. Who knows? This one has a crack on it. The pattern of steam makes it impossible to estimate the distance to the bottom. The floor may have collapsed deeply. I'd better hold back. can't have fallen any worse. I probably ran out of luck in the mines yesterday. Damn, it's too far. I can't reach it. It's too far. This one isn't made of stone like the other ones. To whom could such a large skull have belonged? Except for this.
Maybe I'll reach it now. An old key with a drawing of a human skull. That sound! What was that? Duggan Gordon. I did not have any reason to extend my stay in Wales. The next morning, I said goodbye to Eleanor and returned to Black Mirror. Samuel, you have returned sooner than I expected. How are things in Wales? Is Eleanor well? Yes, she's quite well. I gave her your letter. Thank you, Samuel. I can hear uncertainty in your voice. Has something gone wrong? I'm afraid it has, my dear. Bates, you tell Samuel. I do not want to speak about it myself. Yes, madam. First... About Sir Robert. He went away the night you left for Wales, sir. Just before he left, he told me he had to go to Ashbury on an urgent matter. I know. I spoke with him about it. Did something happen in the sanatorium? Unfortunately, sir, I do not know. Sir Robert did not return home that night. In fact, we have had no news of him since then. Maybe he had to stay there. He told me he had a lot of work. That is what we thought, too. But the head nurse told us he left the gates of Ashbury just before midnight. Hmm. That's strange indeed. He would often stay at the sanatorium for several days in a row, but he would always let us know. We do not know what could have happened. Bates, do not speak like this. I'm sorry, madam. I did not mean it that way. We'll wait until this evening and then call the sanatorium. Maybe Robert will have returned by then. Bates, you started to say, first, about Sir Robert. Is there anything I should know? Yes, sir. I just don't know if I can speak about it in front of Madam. Oh, go ahead, Bates. The thought is inevitable anyway. All right, then. Detective Collier showed up this morning. I thought he had come because of Henry's drowning. But I was mistaken. Someone from the village found a body of a boy in the woods. Collier came here to inform us only. This time he spared us his questions. A body of a boy? What happened to him? Detective Collier suggested that the boy had been killed by the wolves. Did he mention the place where it happened? No. I did not want to ask him about anything. Oh, I understand. Too much evil has come to us within the last two days. Do not know what is going on, Samuel. Now please excuse me. I do not want to talk about this any longer. Yes, I understand. I'll probably go to my room. I lit up your fireplace already this morning, sir. It's very cold today. Robert said something about a runaway patient before he left. Robert. And that boy. Indeed, some very strange things have been happening around here lately. <laughs> <laughs> 